right, that's the condensed unit, it's a bit real with the power press card style. There's no low pressure switch on there. It's got some heat in it. The discharge line is stone cold. Um, so, yeah, it's not looking. Uh, I'm wondering if it's got a leak in the coil and it's sucked a load of water in, and that was water we were looking at in the uh, side glass. We'll get some gauges on there and see what's going on. Just warm the valves up with some hot water, and that's got the refrigerant flowing now. So we're looking like we've got moisture in the system. been running for about half an hour now. Um, basically we found the sight glass was full, a little bubble in there that wasn't moving, it was cold to the touch so there was no flow. System went is in a vacuum, really deep vacuum, um, and all we've done really is poured some warm water over the valves and the two outer ones are now working and uh, making some ice. I don't know, you probably can't see down that side, let's see. There you go, just about to see some ice on there. And the centre one's not um, doing anything. Um, so, what we're going to do is pump it down. If we've got a new moisture indicator, we're going to put one in because that, that's not telling us anything. Uh, take this valve apart and see if we've got any free moisture in there, which I think we have. Um, and then put a, the biggest dryer on we've got on the van. <coughs> but he's not had any work done on this for years, so whether it's been running for years with moisture in there. Um, and it's now just, um, for whatever reason, managed to block all three of them up, or whether we've... Um, it's not running low enough to have sucked any moisture in, it's not on pump down, so I can't see how any moisture would have got in, um, you know, from like a leak or anything. So this is all should be above um, zero at all times. Um, couldn't see any leaks around any of the valves on the outlets. We'll go around them all and check them before we go. But I think we're going to get a side glass, new filter dryer, and we'll have a look in here. See if it looks like it's wet. Sometimes you'll see the actual drips of water inside. Um, the other thing I've had with these is, is the little filters pop up with shit. Right, we've got that pumped down. We've shut the uh, receiver valve. Um, let me go and uh, put a new filter in there. Um, new sight glass and have a look in the valves and see what's going on. If you just took the office out of that one, <coughs> there's a little bit of water on it there, there's some under the brass. Um, and there's also um, a couple of drips on the end of the valve, which it's difficult to tell because I did warm it up and dry it out the um, burner. <coughs> I think those have come. The inside. Let's see if we can get another torch. But yeah, it does look like it's got water in there from somewhere. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get the torch in there as well. There you go. That's all the water that's in there, so that's not looking too good. That's one of the orifices out the other valve and that's got water on the end of it. And I can see some water inside it there. Um, so we'll give that a bit of a dry out and we'll, we'll do the end one as well. And then we'll, um, we'll heat these flares up so they're nice and hot 
and let them cool down and that'll um, soften them again so we should get a good seal on them when we do them back up. We've got our new sight glass in which is green at the moment but that's just from the heat of brazing so that'll get wet again. Um, hopefully it's not so wet that it washes the colour out but um, that's all we can do really. And then put a new dryer in there and give it a good vacuum. That's the third one that's got blobs of water on it as well. Right, it was tricky to raise the dryer in where it was originally because the top connection would have been right where this cable was, our conduit. So I've propped it up on some boxes I had in the van, done the top connection, and we'll bend that back down. We should be able to get the bottom one fairly easily. Right, I've got the lower connection done. I've put me, I've got a big piece of aluminium I keep in the van. Just propped it up on a box so that I didn't get any heat on the um, uh, tin cladding there. So I think we might change the oil in the compressor now. That's uh, copper plating on that sump plug. Just took it out of there, which is a sign that's been running with moisture in it for a, a, a long time. So we might be looking at something that's been in the system for a few years rather than something that's more recent. Anyway, we'll get the oil changed, get it vacuumed and see, um, see what we can find. Right, get the oil taken out. It's quite nasty. That red colour might have been that um, red dye they used to put in R12. I think DuPont used to make a gas. Uh, they used to make R12 bottles with uh, red dye in it. They used to dye, uh, if you had a leak on here, you'd have a load of red around it. Um, that might be why that is in that oil. And then we get all that took out, and it was full to the top line, so we'll top it up to the same level. Right, we've put some tracer gas in there. We've gone around everything once with a detector. We're just going to go around it again. Uh, I might check these with the soapy spray just to be on the safe side. Well, it's not found anywhere for the moisture to have got in. The only thing you worry about is it being in the, in the uh, coil. But we'll give it 20 minutes or so with some pressure in there just to see that if there's some water in it could push it out and then start bubbling. But I don't think so. <clears throat> Right, got the oil changed, got some POE oil in there now, new dryer, um, it's been on back for a while. Let me go up and shut it off. Got it to about um, 3,000, I think, when I shut it off last time. But, um, we're probably not going to get a really good vacuum because we've, we've still got refrigerant in the receiver, so we're only backing it out for the suction. Um, if that valve lets by, or that valve lets by, you won't get a good vacuum. Um, I was expecting it to be full of water, so uh, that's why I pumped it down. I didn't want to get my recovery machine full of the crappy mix of water and the so, uh, It's slowed down a bit now, so I think we're uh, not getting there good enough to go.